Hi, this is Jennifer with HipBellyDancer.com and today I'm doing a video on the down to up vertical figure eight. Uh, one of the people on my email list asked me to do this video because she was having a hard time finding a video breaking down this movement. She was seeing a lot of videos of the vertical figure eight that goes from up to down, but not a lot that was going from down to up. She was calling this the ice cream scoop and I think that's a good name for it because that's kind of what it is. Um, so today I want to break down this movement for you. So there's two types of figure eights um, in belly dance, the ones that go vertical from up to down and in reverse, and the ones that go from front to back. So this is a vertical figure eight going from down to up. And I like to think about these vertical figure eights, whether they're going from up to down or down to up, as a combination of the hip slide movement and the contraction in the obliques. So let's just real quickly um, practice this hip slide movement. And in terms of feet um, placement, you can kind of play around with that. That kind of depends on your body, but generally you always want to place your feet about hip width apart. So for the purposes of this exercise, you're going to keep a straight leg and you want to just focus on sliding your hips right and left using your oblique muscles. So if I had a line here, I would just be sliding parallel to the ground. And you should feel that movement happening from here. You wanna keep your rib cage really stable. So you're contracting everything in here to not move your upper body. And you're just sliding your hips right and left. That's what's gonna to help to create that circle because you need to create, uh, you need to move your hips outside of midline. So, to do this figure eight, you need to start with a good bend in your knees. You wanna sink down as low as you can. You always wanna make sure that you keep your tailbone tucked under, don't do movements from this position. So you're tucked under, you're really sitting down. You're gonna slide your hips outside of midline, just like we were doing with that hip slide. Now you're gonna contract in your obliques, pulling your hip in towards your rib cage, bring it into your midline, and then drop. So you're sitting, sliding, contracting, and then bring it right into your midline. Slide, contract. Sit, slide, contract. Sit, slide, contract. Let's do it on the other side. Sit, slide, squeeze. Sit, slide, squeeze. Sit, slide, squeeze. Let's do it on the um, one on each side. Sit, slide, squeeze. 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 You're keeping this really stable and you want to make sure in addition to keeping this tucked under, that you don't move outside your normal range of motion. Sometimes when I move too far, I can feel a uh, tightening in my hip joint. That's not good. So you don't need to feel like you have to go to a level of discomfort with this. Just do what feels natural in your body. It shouldn't feel uncomfortable or forced in that way. And a good exercise for getting this contraction is just to practice your hip drops, and I show that in a different video. Um, you can look through um, my video playlist. So I hope that helps you um, to break down that movement of the vertical figure eight that goes from down to up. And now it's just a matter of practicing, doing that hip slide and that hip contraction. Thank you so much for watching today. Again, I'm Jennifer with HipBellyDancer.com. If you like this video, please hit like, and you can go to my website, hipbellydancer.com, and subscribe to my email list where I'll be sending out regular videos and other tips. Thanks so much.